Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Breaking Bad. You just ignore her. Season two. Was that a good eye roll? Let episode me. three. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. That was an insane episode last time. That was crazy. Yes. It was tense. There were so many different moments of just like, oh my God, what's gonna I, happen? I, I watched it back. My mouth was open. Yeah, a lot. It, it was, it was, it's just, they keep raising the stakes and it just keeps getting more and more intense for these two who... I'm terrified for them now, though. I mean, they're, they're clearly both a little bit out of their league. A little? Just a little bit. A little, a lot. It's like they lied on their resume and then they're being yeah, exactly. they're, asked that, to do their job and a, they're like, I don't know. That's a great, like, they're really good at their job, but they know nothing about the actual job. Yeah. Like, they can make it, but they have no idea what else to do outside of that. Fake it till you make it. Yeah, basically. And they're, like, just knocking off drug dealers. Like, boom, boom, boom. Like, no problem! Yeah. It's been, like, easy work for them. Yeah. Like, just taking these dudes out. Somehow, they're surviving, which is amazing. And I, I just, I want to know what story he gives to Skyler on, you know, when he gets back. Yeah, like, that, what that's... Do you, what does he tell Hank? That was easily the most, like, oh my god, what's going to happen next to come out of that? Like, how does he explain all of this? Well, like, and one of the comments, like, they were saying that, like, you know, it would make it easier to deal with a, a, a wife that thinks you're cheating than the DEA. <laughs> well, then I'm cooking meth. I mean, I could see that, but I don't. I, in terms of dealing with a wife, I don't think telling you woman over drugs is would be easier. I don't know. I I think the drugs. Uh, no, I mean about being gone. Yeah, I don't, it's all like yeah. what what would you prefer for me to tell you? I was gone because I was stolen, and kidnapped by a drug dealer, or I was having an affair. Yeah. Kidnapped by a drug dealer, 100%. I don't know. <laughs> That's I don't just, know. I don't know. I mean, put it like, to, no, to keep your, like, to keep your whole business under wraps. <sighs> but then, I mean, you're never trusted yeah, regardless. Yeah, it's, it's a lose-lose situation. Regardless of what he says, and I'm really, really, really fascinated to see how he gets out of this, because he's a really smart dude. He's had kind of an answer for every kind of, like, situation that's popped up. I'm really curious to see how Walter does this because it's like, how many more times is he going to get bailed out and like wiggle his way out of a situation? Seriously. It's insane because like, like someone made an interesting comment about like, oh, what if, what if, what if Tuco actually took the, the rice and beans and ended up dying like a little bit after that. And then Jesse and Walter try to leave, but they run into Hank on the road. That would have even, that could have even been worse. Oh like. God. Could you imagine if like their little plan worked and then they just run into them in the middle of the desert leaving this place while in Jesse's car? Like that scenario could have well, even been worse because it's like... And then also the cousins showing up to take them to... Yeah, that the whole cartel thing sounds like they're going to be in a lot of trouble at some point. And I'm going to guess that that's part of the reason why there's trouble at the house with the teddy bear or stuffed animal in the, in the pool. Mm -hmm. Just a total mess. I mean, Jesse and, and Walt are... They decided to just run off into the desert. And... I don't know. I, what, after what, Hank what took out... What would you do? I have no idea what I would do. But I, that's an impossible situation to put myself into. Be like, you just killed... Well, you think you kind of killed the drug dealer. But then, like, your brother-in-law DEA guy shows up while you're with this drug dealer. And it's like... All this shit's going down. You don't just go like, hey, what's up, Hank? Like, how's it going? Uh, help me. I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> yeah, like, it's just, I don't know what the right situation is. Yeah. I don't know what I would do. But, like, maybe my immediate impulse would just be, like, run away <laughs> and just figure it out from there. But, yeah, the two of them are out in the desert. Hank took out Tuco. And there's a lot of explaining that needs to be done now. Do you understand why you think he was shaking? Well, yeah, I mean... He's terrified! Of course, but he's like a senior agent. Like, he's that in charge. That doesn't mean shit! You have a semi-automatic weapon being shot at you, and mm. you, all you have to protect you is a car door. Yeah, well, he shouldn't have gone out there by himself. Oh, my God. Oh, my God! Do you see what I deal with? Do you <laughs> see what I deal with? He's a vet. 
He's a vet in a in a shit. in a line of work that I would have to imagine takes a lot of gunfire. I would have to just guess that there's a lot of gunfire and drug busts. I don't know. In the previous things, he always has like a team go in yeah. first, well, and then he like wasn't a smart move. I don't know if he expected to run up on Tuco like that. Obviously, that was a surprise. But still, like I don't know why it's not a smart move. It feels it, it doesn't feel like a smart move to be driving around following these people trying to follow these leads by yourself. I don't know. Yeah. It just seems dangerous and I agree. Obviously, dangerous. it was dangerous cuz without backup. He got into a gunfight with him with a freaking automatic assault rifle while he had a handgun. So, not good. He got out of it. He took out Tuco. Dude was dope. Really good bad guy. Just really fun character while he was there for a few episodes. But you're ready to jump into this? Yes. See where this goes? Yes. See what he says? Yes. How he explains everything? Yes! Let's go, yo! Bury the weapon out in the middle of the desert, okay. I wonder how many dead bodies or weapons or criminal related things are buried out there. Right. <laughs> I mean, definitely dead bodies, definitely that. <laughs> They go in the wrong direction and end up back at Tuco's house. It's probably a gigantic crime scene at this moment. Shit. Could you imagine the dehydration? Especially as sick as, as Walt is. Yeah, I keep wanting to call him Hank. What the hell? Hank and Walt. Walt and Hank. Is it the cousins? <laughs> is it? It's a bold plan, Mr. White. What the hell? Um. I guess the plan is to separate, not put him with Jesse. I guess. What? What? What's happening? Is that Walter's clothes? Oh, they got everything. Sure, everything. What the hell is he doing? What is he doing? Is he gonna like... Is he trying to play the insanity thing? Yeah, maybe. I would have left at least the underwear on. I mean... I mean, full effect, you gotta go... But no. I know full effect. <laughs> if, you're gonna pull off, if you're gonna try to pull off some kind of insanity thing, you gotta go completely naked. I guess, man. It's like, oh, it's the side effects of my medication. And how are you gonna argue or not believe him? Right? I mean, this is. I, I would kill you! You know who I am, right? Yes, son, I know who you are. Come here. Dude, he's doing a real good acting job. The past couple of days are, are missing, but other than that, I, I, I feel fine. Oh, Hank, he was in a shootout? He killed some guy, some big drug dealer. But where did this happen? How could he well, be? Everything's okay. <laughs> wow. How's Hank? He's indestructible, you know that. Mr. Salamanca lunged toward the vehicle and fired on me with what I ascertained to be an M16 assault rifle. When he paused to reload, I was able to take an effective shot that was tending to another matter. What other matter? Searching for your brother-in-law, as I understand. Uh, he's since been found. He's fine. The whole thing was a misunderstanding. The Monte Carlo at the scene belonged to a former student of his, a Jesse Pinkman. I'm, 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 wow. This is not good, Jesse. Don't, I, why are you sitting there, though? I don't get it, why don't they just kick your door down? Then you probable cause. Probable cause? I'm like an outlaw. Why do you go back to this guy? I know. You're Willy Wonka! You are Willy Wonka, and I got the golden ticket! Mm, you ain't got nothing, oh. dude. Sail me down your chocolatey river of meth! If I needed something done, he is the last person I would go to for help. Right. I'd rather try to do it myself. Couldn't we just cook one quick batch? You quick know, batch? For the road? Got nature! Don't mess with me! 
Jesse is in a He's stressed bad the fuck place. Out. I got it. Do you, dude? Okay, that's all. This fucking guy. This is a bad choice. Dude. You sure about this guy? He's totally, totally cool. Thousand bucks. Come on, where are you towing him, man? Seattle? I think the miles, it's a cargo. Yeah, that's a good plan. Yeah. I saved your skinny ass, yo. I totally but for you. I'm not a huge fan of getting more people involved. I know, right? They need probable cause. I'm giving it to them. Oh, now that they cleared everything out? Yeah, maybe. I mean, wouldn't they swab, like, stuff? I mean, there's, like, dead body remnants in there and shit. There's DNA everywhere. Definitely some good news here. The MRI shows no metastases. The cancer hasn't spread to the brain. What was it, then? Well, there's no sign of stroke or seizure. Isn't it possible that this had something to do with all the prescriptions I've been taking? We'll take another look at that, sure. Shouldn't we be talking about when I can get out of here? That may still be a ways down the road. Actually, I think our next move is to schedule a psychiatric evaluation. Shit! Oops. Until we know what caused this incident, we can't be certain about Shit. Oops. <laughs> he just thought he was gonna like, get out of there. Like, oh, I feel better. Bye. I'm like, good. I'm totally good now. It's like, nope. We're going to figure out exactly why. That's the place where Hank took Walt Jr., right? Uh, yeah. What is the plan here? Jesse Penguin, I presume. Why did he want to get caught? I, he, he, I don't know. He, I mean, he has to. I, I don't. I mean. Are they gonna, is he gonna try to prove that he has nothing? Yeah, I guess. Turn our reporting. That's it. Since Saturday night. Taco, I don't know any taco, and I damn sure didn't say anything about no crystal. We got stuff from the vending machine. You know, Funyuns. I had a hot pocket. If you weren't answering your cell phone. It was in my car. You found your car, but your phone wasn't in it. You found my car. He's not as convincing. Awesome, DA all the way. Yes. I'm nervous. Did you leave anything else in the car? Like this? Oh shit. Sixty-seven thousand nine hundred. Oh no, he's gonna be out all that money. Oh, he's gonna have to say that's not mine. That's not mine. Ah shit. That's not yours. That's a new interdiction van right there. Yeah. Definitely some new softball jerseys because we need them, you know? I think your story's bullshit. I think you know who Tuco Salamanca was. Tuco had a bullet in him when I got there, and I think you know something about that, too. What are you saying? Like, I shot someone with, like, a gun? Only shooting you do is into a Kleenex. Oh! I feel, I feel bad for Jesse now. Damn, man! I got medical issues. Like what kind of medical issues? A penis withdrawal? You got schlongus interruptus? Wendy, listen, talk to me. It's you. You wanted me to do that, kid. What? How about we stay on topic? Oh, Look, shit. Jesse came over to the palace at 11 o'clock Saturday night. We were together the whole time, and he never left the room. Good job, Wendy. I know, right? Walt. Fugue state is a very serious event. We can't allow you to leave until we're certain what happened was a non-recurring event. Saying you feel fine doesn't solve this. Shit. Yeah. Oops. Would you tell me about patient confidentiality? Without your permission, I can't disclose anything you tell me to anyone. Not to your family, not to the police, not to anyone. Wow. Well, what if I lied about you, all of this? Medical practitioner, you abide by these strictures absolutely. There was no fugue state. I couldn't stand to spend another second in that house. And so I left. Being found naked in a supermarket, that was your way of giving credibility to a lie? What did you feel you had to run from? Well, now he's gonna evaluate him with a new problem. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like, you're a danger to yourself and the people around you. My 15-year-old son has cerebral palsy. I am an extremely overqualified high school chemistry teacher. 
I have watched all of my colleagues and friends surpass me in every way imaginable, and within 18 months, I will be dead. And you ask why I ran? That'll, that'll put a halt to any more questions. Yeah. What was that bell that just rang? All right. Oh, shit. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no. This is bullshit. I mean, look at this dude, all right? He doesn't even know what planet he's living on. Are we on the planet Mars? Are we on the planet Saturn? Are we on the planet Earth? It's today Monday. It's today Tuesday. Okay, seems like he's all there. Let's go for it. Was this man at your house yesterday? Was this man at your house yesterday? Wow. Interesting. This guy right here, he was at your house, right? Was he doing business with your nephew, Tuco? Way to go, Tio! I, I'm terrified! What the fuck? What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> yeah! Oh! Ah! Holy shit, I can't believe he friggin' did that. Kept his mouth shut for 17 years in San Quentin. Stroke or no stroke. Old school gangbang Mexicans don't help the feds. I buy that lame ass story more than I buy it. He had anything to do with shooting Tuco. Yeah, I mean, it's. Dad. For what they know, it's Jesse. Right. Can you hear me? Like, why is it working out again? I know, like, what? That is a dope time lapse. It seriously can't be this easy. No, no. <laughs> I mean, it's been hard, but... I'm terrified they're still. Making... I'm so... <laughs> All of their decisions are working out. Your scumbag brother-in-law took my rainy day fund. 68000 okay? Now I got like 80 bucks to my name. He doesn't know shit, okay? The plan works. The RV. Badger's cousin took it to his garage. It's, it's safe. Can he get it running again so we can cook? You still want to cook? But, but to sell it to who? What's changed, Jesse? Don't fuck with Heisenberg. I guess. What's changed is the guy who was giving you all that money is no longer around. Cash on hand. The money in the box. He's breaking into his own house. How did he get out of the hospital? Did he just leave? Can people really just get up and walk out of a hospital? I mean, they can't that happens keep, they all can't the time. They can't keep you there. That's, yeah. You see that all the time that in shows like and movies. That would be like being held against your will or some shit. Oh my god. Now he's gonna get caught. Oh shit. My heart just started racing. I'm freaking the fuck out. What the hell? I'm freaking out. 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 She's gonna be like walking in and be like, what's up? Dude. Shit. This is so insane. What, I mean, does he go back to the hospital? What does he do? Sometimes I don't know the reason why. You know, no one noticed. That would be, wouldn't that be literally impossible? Oh, dude. Nope. No. I can watch a lot of shit, but not that. Oh, man. Ah, fuck. That was nasty. 
How do you find the vein again, man? You just put it back in the hole. Shit. I don't know why I can't handle needles in the skin. I can handle a lot of shit, just not that. What's this? It's blue meth we found up by your late homie. The lab says it got cooked P2P style. The two stooges over here cooked it? The lab said that blue messy purest they've seen, at least since this. Crazy eight. Crazy eight. Tuco. Somehow, some way, it's all connected. What's this? Ah, look at that. We all got you a little something, and this is from all of us. I mean, he gave them all that big giant pep talk of catching Tuco, even though he wasn't confident that they were going to catch him. He still got him. He got him. I guess he party when you get your, you get your thing. Hey, Walt. Uh, you know, how, how are you? I'm okay. Really, I'm I'm feeling fine. The doctor is calling it a isolated episode of transient global amnesia. Damn. <laughs> Why is he acting suspicious? You know, that's what it feels like. Right? That, that sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Look. Look what they gave me. Look what they gave me. What is it? Is the grill of the guy I shot? Damn. Grill? Yeah. It's uh, kind of like front teeth like that. You know. Oh my you God. Attracted to shiny things. They don't really do that, right? I, well, I, Hank's acting. I'm concerned with how he's acting. I know, right but now. sometimes we think that he's being weird and he's not being weird, so I don't know how to read him at all. I just feel like I got a vibe there that he was trying to get Walter to say something. Yeah. Is she gonna just quiz him on the second cell phone thing? Yeah, maybe. Um. Say, honey, um, I was just thinking about going out to 7-Eleven. Do you need anything? He's trying to be funny. Big gulp. Slim Jim. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. That was funny. Make light of a serious situation, you know? Do you have a second mm. At least wait a day before you start quizzing them on the phone. One thing I am sure of is that I don't have a second cell phone. Now you're just straight lying. Oh, and she knows it. And she knows it. Yikes. Oh, yeah. Awkward. Just let it go, man. Just let it go. Okay. Wow. She is growing more and more suspicious and he's giving her more and more reason like i mean you're with someone as long as they've been together you could read straight through the bullshit right i would think so i'm like it but was... she can't read through the other bullshit so i don't know man but she doesn't know about the other bullshit to just put him on the spot about it right like she knows about the second cell phone so she could just straight up be like what about the second cell phone? I know you have it. Tell me about it. It's I know, like, oh, but I now he can say it. I literally don't because I don't. Well, he doesn't anymore. It's, he doesn't yeah. even have one cell phone. Right. And this is such a tricky situation because it's like he's sick. He just got picked up from having this episode of not remembering things. But like as his wife... It's like a really weird situation because like, how do you not like believe him considering that he was in the hospital for however many days dealing with this? It's like all this stuff is going on and it's like, you're lying. Like, how do you put someone on blast that's dealing with everything that he's dealing with? I mean, she's dealing with a lot too, obviously. Yeah. But it's like, how do you, it's such a tricky and like, kind of like, eh, situation yeah. where it's like. I don't. You're lying to me. It's like, I don't remember. Like, he could just keep playing on the I don't remember thing. And it's like, oh my God. Because like, that doctor can't say shit, so. This is so, and, and it's clear. Like, he, she knows he's lying. Something, yeah. Like, yeah, she yeah, yeah, clearly yeah. knows. 
And I'm getting that weird vibe from Hank. I know that might just be his personality, but I'm getting that weird vibe from Hank that he's like, he's digging and digging and digging and like, now they're talking about how pure his the meth is that they're finding and it's like, this guy's- And then guy it has is, something to do with Crazy 8, but they don't know that Crazy 8 is dead. Right. Do they? Uh, not They've officially. They've never found his body. No, not officially. Um, because we don't know what Hank did with it. I mean Walt did with it. Or Walt, yeah. Right? Freaking Walt, Hank, Hank, Walt, I, shit. I don't know why that's so hard to, like, Keep say. Straight. Yeah, but, like, the last... Correct me if I'm wrong, but that episode, he killed him, and then we saw him on, like, an overpass bridge. Yeah. Like, we don't know if he threw his body into the water, or if he found we some other... We don't know shit yeah. about shit. Like, I wonder if his body's gonna show up at some point. Oh my God. Yikes. Um, but it's like... Hank is starting to put the puzzle together. He doesn't know where it all starts. But watching that tape, he even said it. He's like, these two have no street skills at all. But they're making the most pure meth ever. And it's like, they're wizards. And Walt's the chemistry teacher. Exactly. And he's... And I think Hank knows how smart... Like, he was making fun about how smart he was in episode one. I think that was episode one. Like, Hank knows how good of a like big of a genius like he is and i wonder if again this goes back to something i said early on like i don't think hank's ever going to view walter like that but at what point does it just connect to him yeah i don't know i i mean i'm just i hate to feel bad or nervous about people that are doing bad things but I mean, they make you want to feel for Walter. Yes, like, the show totally, you know, steers you in yeah, the direction they want you to, and I totally fall for every single time. Yeah, I mean, he's he's dealing with a lot of stuff. He's got cancer. He's got like the issues with all the stuff at home. He brought up the issue that he is a highly overskilled chemistry teacher, where all of his former colleagues are like, I would assume, super successful in making bank, while he's making not a lot, and. You know, he's he's dealing with a lot of stuff. I feel bad for teachers. So it's like, yeah, he's he's doing all of that really bad stuff, but as a husband and a father, it's like You do what you gotta do to take care I, of your family. His motives like he's doing really like and this is this isn't one of those lines, this is one of those things where it's like It's a gray area. <laughs> totally, but like he's doing all this really illegal bad shit and people are dying, but his motive, like he's a good dude. With, with motives to help his family. So it's yeah. like, I don't know. I know. It's I such know. a great... I mean, like, I wouldn't do it. He's told... Like, yeah, I don't... I, I, I couldn't say what I would and would not do if I was in that situation and I wanted to make sure my family was left with a future and not hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt because of something... Start a you YouTube know. channel. Exactly. <laughs> make bank. No. Um, <laughs> so it's, really, it's a really tough situation because they... Walter is a very, very likable character doing something really, really horrible for a really good reason. Like, so it's like he's totally in that gray area with a lot of like, especially like the last show that we watched coming off of Game of Thrones. It's like there's a ton of great characters where like you like them, but they've done a whole bunch of bad shit. Like Walter is there right now. Yeah. He's a good dude, good heart. He's got good motives, but he's doing some really bad shit. And a lot of bad shit is happening because of it. And it's like, mm. it's tough. How do you work around that? Uh, I don't know. As a fan of the show, watching the show, I'm going to continue to, until Walter's objective changes, I think I'm going to continue to kind of hope he figures this out. Yes. Yes, I'm with you. I, yeah. All right. <laughs> I just want the best for them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is... This is real good. I know. I'm and loving this show. It's really intense. It's just, I wonder if like, I wonder if this is like, at all like based off of anything real. If like someone out there has dealt with something like this, just like a super genius getting diagnosed with inoperable something Disease, yeah, that is gonna kill them, and then they they resort to something really horrible and negative, and they go through all this trouble, and then it actually like, well, I don't know how it's gonna end, but like. Having it like work, maybe like I yeah. wonder if there's well, a story. I mean, story to take like, care of their family, yeah. so that their family's not left with nothing but debt. The story is crazy. It would be fascinating. 
maybe, maybe not. To like know if there's someone out there that has pulled off something like this. But then again, like if we had friends that, you know, were like the Elliot guys situation, we would have totally taken the help. Wouldn't you? I mean... Somebody's would, willing to pay for your that cancer would be, therapy? Like, come on, man. I think I would put my ego aside <laughs> for that. For the betterment yeah, of your family. That's Again, that's another tough situation because it's like... I hate owing people anything, and you'd be owing that guy a lot. More than just money. Well, I mean, but technically you'd be working for him, so technically you don't have to repay it. Yeah, I don't know. That's it's I don't all, know what the situation would have been. There day. are so many difficult situations playing out in this that I have no idea how I would handle it and hope I would never have to handle it. Yeah, please, no. Because this shit is intense. It is just... I'm on edge the whole time, just like... He keeps getting so close to getting caught. Yes. And Which, he keeps I'm making sorry, it. it doesn't make for a good reaction for me because I'm just like, ah, uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was that had its moments that episode, but it was a little slower coming off of what we had last episode. Um, but still, slow but intense. Yeah, it's just the, the it's high intensity the whole time. The fact that he broke into his own house to like. Oh my god, to the take money. Care of the freaking <laughs> yeah. box of money and a gun. Oh man. And like I for sure thought he was gonna get caught. Like, what the hell are you doing home? Like, what are you doing here? Yeah. It's like Well, I thought like he was just gonna be like, Hey honey, I came home early. Yeah. Middle of the night. Yeah. <laughs> but like he's in terms of getting bailed out and succeeding at all this bad stuff, he's like batting a thousand right now. Yes. Like he keeps... But do you need that added stress, though? I mean, I couldn't imagine any of this being good for his body. Yeah. For what he's going through. But no. it's going to stop at some point, and something is going to happen. Do the cousins and the family of Tuco get involved at some point? Uncle like... Tio? What the... Uncle oh. Tio. Uncle. Yeah. I mean, that was... Tio! <laughs> it makes sense. They said that he's like an old school OG drug dealer. That Not going to help the He fits. wasn't going to cooperate. Which is kind of dope. Good for Jesse. But also, yeah, good for Jesse, who I love. I think Jesse's great. He does a lot of dumb shit. But he's, again, another character that's just... They make you want to root for him because he's just this kid who's... I don't know, way out of his league in terms of what he's trying to accomplish. And both, it's like, I mean, both, both, both. And again, the odd couple, for real. Yeah, it's just another situation where the writing and the show makes you want to, like, go, Jesse, let's <laughs> do, do the right thing here. So, oh my God. yeah. What do you think's going to happen? I don't. I mean, he's clearly going to get caught, right? How though? I mean, I'm more I'm more worried about Jesse than I am Walt. With Walt, I'm worried now that Skylar will actually think that he's cheating on her because At what point does she I start? I don't remember following? the last couple of days and second cell phone. Yeah. Like, ooh, that looks like you're cheating. At what point does she follow him out of the house next time he leaves? Oh, dude, don't say that. That's terrifying. Because that's if I was that suspicious regardless of what you were dealing with, I would probably at some point try to follow you somewhere. And Would you try to follow me or would you just be like, you know what, fuck this. I don't want to deal with this shit. No. Give me the big divorce. If you were dying of cancer, no, I wouldn't do that. I would try to get an answer and proof before I accused of anything. Because, again, a lot of the, like, he's taking a lot of medicine. He's really sick. He's got a lot of stress. It could be a number of reasons why he's acting this way. I would probably want to find some actual evidence before I'm like, all right, we're done. But you're like, sorry, I was just hanging out with a friend, you know, making a bunch of freaking drugs. Like, and he wants to get back into it. Yeah. He wants to get the He's RV like, What's back. What's changed, Jesse? Yeah. Like, uh, oh, nothing. Else. Yeah, except you but have no one to sell okay, it But to. now also the, what is it, Clovis? The, the tow truck guy? Oh, yeah. What is he doing with the freaking RV? This just does not yeah. sound good at all. Like I said, when that scene was playing out, like the idea of adding people is just not a good idea. Yeah, I mean, and he's like, no, it's the cargo. I'm like, so then you know what's in there. Well, he knows Jesse. I just... Or well, he knows Jesse's, whatever that knucklehead's name is. Uh, Badger. Badger, yeah. He knows Badger's. Oh, all right. Badger's deal. 
that was this this show starting to get to the level of like it's exhausting to get through an episode because it's just like you're on <gasps> you're on edge the whole time just waiting for something to happen so i'm tired now you That's got any awesome. other thoughts no all right y'all what color heart do you want this week or today hmm do they have green hearts since his shirt was green oh yeah green i was gonna do say they have green hearts i was gonna say something disgusting what because brown teal are there brown hearts if there's a brown heart no leave a brown heart give me a green one or right. or leave some poop emojis <laughs> yes give us some and poop. a bell i want a poop emoji and a bell yes if you've made it to this point we want a poop emoji and a bell if you can and do it that will or write or, write yeah. it out you just right click on a computer emojis will pop up it should yeah insert emoji uh but if you the loyalist of stickers right there write it out poop, and poop emoji <laughs> bell okay that's it <laughs> that's amazing i love it when you guys like yeah that's the best watch this long and you put it down it's the best it is absolutely the best and so you yeah. know what add a bow on the back of that mm. put a bow on it look at that <laughs> the requests are coming in hot and heavy all right y'all a, a poop a bell and a bow <laughs> leave them comments below we can't wait to see all the poop emojis that's gonna be so much fun i love it like all day subscribe Hit the bell for notifications. It's just a reminder, we're, we celebrate Christmas, so we're going to be taking a couple days off, but we will put out the schedule on Monday like normal and just to keep you guys uh, kind of informed on what we're going to be doing. We're going to get to as many, some other shows might take a hit as a result, but we're going to do as many Breaking Bad episodes as possible next week just to give you all a heads up. Keep a lookout on the community tab. Always go to the community tab for schedule questions. So yeah, we'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.